India's Chandrayaan-3 has completed another crucial maneuver. The spacecraft's propulsion module has, uh, and the lander module have successfully separated in orbit. This follows the completion of its final orbit-reducing maneuver and is gearing up for the next stage. The spacecraft is currently circling the moon and has separated into two parts. Now the lander module will test its uh, onboard systems. Uh, the propulsion module will use its scientific uh, uh, instruments to study the uh, exoplanets uh, in space. Uh, post separation, the lander will now activate and, the t the and test its electronic the equipment. This includes the three scientific payloads on board the lander. Once the tests are successful, the lander will carry out its own orbit reducing maneuvers. First, it will get into a 100 by 100 kilometer orbit and then it will further reduce its altitude to a 100 by 30 kilometer orbit and at this 30 kilometer elevation the lander module will attempt a soft landing near the lunar south pole on the 23rd of august if successful india will enter a select group of nations which have successfully landed a spacecraft on the surface of the moon till now only russia china and the us have managed to land a spacecraft on the moon's surface and more on this, our senior correspondent Siddharth MP has sent us this report from Chennai. India's third lunar mission, Chandrayaan-3, has entered into its third phase or the final phase. The first phase was completed by the Indian LVM-3 rocket, which put the spacecraft, a 3.9-ton spacecraft, into an orbit around the Earth. Thereafter, the second part of the mission was carried out by the integrated spacecraft. It travelled the 3.84 lakh kilometre distance between Earth and the Moon and also got it to an orbit that's as close as 153 kilometers to the lunar surface. Thereafter, in the latest milestone, ISRO has now announced that the 3.9-ton spacecraft has separated into two parts. One is known as the propulsion module and the other is known as the lander module. The propulsion module is what got the craft so far. And now the propulsion module has separated and it will continue to circle the moon for a couple of years and it will perform experiments including the ones to detect exoplanets that can support life. After this, the action will shift to the lunar lander which is also known as the Vikram lander. Hereafter, the Vikram lander is expected to further de-boost itself, slow itself down in preparation for the lunar landing. Subsequently, the Vikram lander will also test its onboard engines. It will also test its onboard cameras, its onboard altimeters and velocimeters to ensure that it can get the correct data and the sensors are functioning well in preparation for the lunar landing. Let's remember, lunar landing is extremely complex. The spacecraft has to be slowed down. The lander has to be slowed down from a few kilometers per second velocity to even one meter per second for a smooth lunar landing. That's what ISRO is targeting for the 23rd August. And when successful, India will be the fourth nation in the world after the erstwhile Soviet Union, US and China to soft land on the moon. And India's mission is significant because it's looking to go somewhere that is unexplored, which is closer to the lunar south pole. India's landing site will be close to 70 degree latitude of the moon. From Chennai, Siddharth MP, we on World is One.